Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Miami Beach Real Estate Owners Are Now Panicking. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. I'd also like to tell you about a service called HollywoodIsCalling.com. It's a great service that allows you to purchase live phone calls from your favorite celebrities, so check them out. It's something you can buy for yourself or as a gift for somebody you know. Uh, there are more than 100 celebrities to choose from, and the prices start out at just $19.95 for a call. Give it a try. HollywoodIsCalling.com. Now, let's get started. By now, everybody has seen the collapse of the Champlain Towers South Seaview condo development in Miami or just north of Miami and all the poor people uh, that that catastrophe has killed. But that's not the end of it. A Florida International University professor named Shimon Vidutsky says he knew instantly which building had collapsed when he heard the news report. He said he had studied the building for a report uh, he published last year about how buildings in Miami were sinking. According to that study, the building was sinking at a rate of about two millimeters a year since 1990. Because why? It sits on reclaimed wetlands, as does so much of, uh, of Florida. He also said that three other sites were sinking at a faster rate. You heard me correctly, faster rate. One in Surfside, uh, one on Parkview Island, uh, where there are homes and an elementary school nearby, and two, in, and two other sites in South Miami Beach in the Flamingo neighborhood. Now, what does all this mean for the real estate owners and tourists in Miami? Well, it is a nightmare scenario. How many tourists planning to go to Miami Beach are going to feel comfortable staying in a building on or near the beach or anywhere in Miami for that matter? Worse yet, if you own or you're selling property on or near Miami Beach or somewhere in South Florida, uh, what do you think uh, the collapse of the Champlain Towers buildings will do to your property values? We suspect that the collapse is going to start a panic amongst property owners, property buyers, and property sellers. Everybody knows that large parts of Miami and other portions of Florida have been built on swamplands, and that's why there are so many sinkholes uh, around Florida. The first thing uh, you have to ask yourself is, will this building collapse help the sale of other buildings and homes in Miami? And I think that most reasonable, sensible, and sane people would have to answer honestly and say, no, it will not. In fact, I suspect that anyone this week who is in the process of buying real estate uh, down there or even looking at real estate in the area has probably hit the brakes on the entire process for a while. The next thing you have to ask yourself is, what is the liability for building owners down there now? If they sell something from this point forward, will they have any new liabilities going forward to the people they sell to? We suspect that as we speak, insurance underwriters are reviewing their insurance policies and making uh, preparations to modify them dramatically. Now, when I say preparations, I think you know what I mean. It means that they're going to probably dramatically increase the cost of those policies at the same time they severely limit what they cover in light of what's just happened there. If you read the published stories about the study that Professor Shimon Wadinsky uh, did about the sinking buildings in the area, then there is only one conclusion that any reasonable person can make from all of this. Uh, we believe that if no more buildings collapse in the near future, then there will still be a lot of concern and a lot of fear but after, after a few years, I think that that fear will decrease. And if enough time passes, 
uh, then it will probably uh, turn into a non-concern, something that people aren't too concerned about. They'll view it as a one-off and, and they'll think, well, hopefully it won't happen again going forward. However, if another building collapses in the next few years, then we predict that it will become almost impossible to sell a building in South Florida because everybody will be scared to death of the liability and about the future loss of life. Ask yourself a question. What if people were so scared of these buildings that their value and their prices went to zero, meaning that you, can, you couldn't give them away? But let's say that you got someone to buy a building from you for a dollar. Then what? Are people going to want to live in that building under any circumstances? Will they tear it down and build another building there? Will anyone want to live in the new building? These are all nightmare scenarios and none of them bode well for current or future owners of buildings in South Florida. The next question becomes, what happens to tourism in South Florida if another building goes down? We believe that tourism in Miami and South Florida will drop by at least two thirds. Who in their right mind will want to stay in a Miami hotel on vacation if another building goes down? They might visit Miami during the day, but I suspect that they will want to stay at a hotel or a motel or a friend's house somewhere far away from the city for the evening. Whatever the case may be, buying and selling real estate in Miami has just gotten much more challenging. Uh, with that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to tell you that we're going to have more great celebrity interviews and more breaking news stories coming up in the future. So we encourage you to subscribe to our free channel and click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time we post a new story. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.